God can use natural means to bring supernatural results. In the story of Peter, it is pretty obvious and it's pretty clear that God supernaturally intervened into his situation. But we see there's other prison breaks in the Bible where God used natural means to bring people out. For example, Joseph. Joseph was in the, pr in the prison and Joseph did not have a 10 year or a 15 year sentence. We actually assume that Joseph was supposed to be in prison for the rest of his life. It was most likely a life sentence. And supernaturally, God gets him out. But the way the Lord got him out is by actually using natural means. In the prison, he found a man whom he helped with the dream and this man told the Pharaoh at the point when Pharaoh had a dream and couldn't find a translation and next thing that happens it led Joseph out of the prison into the palace. God used natural means to bring supernatural results. We see also in the life of Paul when Paul was in prison for preaching the gospel that God caused an earthquake to happen and through the earthquake apostle Paul was able to be released from the prison. But in this story we see supernatural invasion of God's angel into the prison of Peter to get him out. Before we mention the supernatural ways of God, we have to not miss that God can use natural means to bring supernatural results in our lives. There are people who will die refusing medicine because they say, I want God to heal me only supernaturally. Not knowing that the Lord can use medicine to also touch your life. There are people who will reject a certain thing that the Lord will do because they will say, well, I want only this way. Elijah did not say to God, I will not receive food from ravens. I want food like Israel in the wilderness. I want manna from heaven. I don't want unclean, unpopular, unpleasant, bad birds bring me food. If Elijah would have been picky about which way God is going to use to bring blessing into his life, Elijah would have starved to death. Naaman did exactly the same thing. He came for healing, he came for supernatural result and the prophet says go and baptize yourself seven times in the river and he says what? I don't like this. I want this but I am very picky about this. You have to be so focused on your miracle that you're not picky about the method God is going to use to bring it into your life. Can somebody say amen? It's like the story of one person who was drowning in the sea and they drowned. And they came to heaven fussing and screaming and yelling, God, why didn't you rescue me? I cry out to you and God says, I send the first boat, you decline them. I send the second boat, you send no to them. I send the third boat and you said to them that you're waiting on me. All of these three boats were actually me trying to rescue you. Many times in your life and in my life, the Lord will use natural means to bring a supernatural breakthrough in our life. And we have to be as Christians, not be so picky about the methods God's going to use but be so preoccupied with the miracle that God wants to bring into our life and not miss that for the glory of God.